Excuse me, guys. Do you speak English? Suka, blad, What did he say? Suka, I don't know. Suka, but he is definitely American. Suka, Let's Suka, fuck him up. Suka, Let's do it. Suka, so, on your first day in Russia, you discovered that no one there speaks English. But why? Why did you decide to go there? <laughs> That's crazy, blad. Let's find out why no one speaks English in such a big country and why it's actually banned there. The SSSSSSSR had the best schools in the world, according to the SSSR. They taught you everything. Digging potatoes, working in a factory, loading garbage. But then Western spies invented that you also had to learn letters. And not only your own letters, but imported ones too. They knew it would be easy to pronounce the word computer. So they invented the word the. The, 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 the. Okay. The. And said it should be used everywhere. Not Terminator. The Terminator. The, 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 the. The best minds got together to figure out how to pronounce it. But no matter how hard they tried, nothing worked. Masturbation came. Stalin got lost in the Kremlin and was stuck there until his death. And that's how SSSSSR fell apart. Because of language. The. And jazz. And gum. The. At least that's what grandfather told me on TV. The SSSR cracked, but they decided to keep that gulag for children. They call it school. There are special wardens there called teachers. An English teacher is someone who has traveled to America. The language can only be spread by airborne sex from a native speaker. That's why you can't learn it anyway. I mean, you haven't been to America, so it's all pointless and you'll be listening to stories about your teacher's trip all year. How beautiful and well maintained the dollars are there. All that stuff. If a teacher went to Britain, they are sent to an elite British English school. Not this. <laughs> Disgusting. The teacher shows everyone selfies in front of a guard with a horse and laughs arrogantly. Those who've been to America, he despises. <laughs> Peasants, blood. To make everyone believe that he knows shit, he always speaks Russian, but with what he thinks is a British accent. A teacher, a nepo, the hemorrhoids. While others have to drink vodka for the accent, the teacher can say it all the time. And yes, this is what a set of mass learn words looks like. Also, sometimes you may be shown the alphabet and Irregular verbs. In Russian it's Ron verbs. Ron blyad. Sometimes everyone gets together in the crowd. And that's when the main magic happens. The. There were literally two classes in my school. And they were taught by a mother and a daughter. Because they were both on a family trip to London. I'm that fucking serious. Anyway, it is the reason why no one speaks English. No one teaches it. And it's for a reason. All textbooks are specifically designed so that you don't learn anything. Because if you do, you'll leave right away. The rules are just made up on the fly. Nine tenses. 145 declensions, blyad! Forbidden! And don't argue! Have you been to America? The teacher has! D! Show nothing! Radioactive potatoes won't dig themselves! Peasant! If you somehow manage to learn the language on your own, like using the internet, which they don't like either... 
нахуй не нужен интернет ваш? You become an imported guy. They won't call you to drink vodka anymore. Bath and sauna and sleep drunk in the snow. How's it going in your America? What's new? Where in my America, блядь? We live together here. Well, you are, блядь, communicating somehow. Using race, I didn't know. Обама, блядь. The next obstacle, a very important one. It's very difficult to speak a language that doesn't have the word блядь. And no one realizes you can take it with you. Like a sandwich for the road. Look. Блядь. It's not that complicated. Блядь, I've got more. But they won't know the secret. Because I say it in English. And they don't know it. <laughs> they do not know English. But they watch English content anyway. To think they know it. I make a video. Check the views. And the counter shows negative values. YouTube. Курва. Do you see what is going on? Look at it. Where are the impressions? Where are the recommendations? Шейгу! And it offers the video to Russians who don't know the language but pretend they do. They turn it on, get mad at me, have a seizure and start complaining in marking territory. Russians believe that to look confident, you have to growl and yell incessantly, waving your arms and jiggling something. You just can't sound threatening in English. Have you heard how the British fight? Love, darling, missed her. Thank you very much. You wouldn't survive like that in Nerilsk. Stalin, socialism. Lenin, Stalin. USSR. Ненавижу вас. That's why in American movies the villain is always Russian. Привет. 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 Пиздец нахуй, блядь! To lose your growl is to lose your power. Russian sounds like you are a sick old hobo. Or like a broken blender. Привет! Привет! Yes! Not fuck. It's fuck. It's like burping wall. Try it, comrade. Comrade! And you know what? You don't need English to drink vodka. English words scare the shit out of Russians. Today you say smartphone and cringe, and tomorrow you'll give Norilsk to the Americans. No, 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 no. Foreign words immediately cause a heart attack in such residents. Like spells in Harry Potter, but the only effect is a heart attack. So make sure you learn the Russian equivalent. It's not cookie, it's cracker, not steak, but Roast beef. Not marshmallow sandwich, but choco pie. It's a very subtle line. The key here is not to make any sudden movements or loud noises. You see, now you know five Russian terms. Do you speak English? And that's all for today. My name is Mark. Subscribe, comment, subscribe to our Patreon. Like and... See you next time! Good.